we get started with our list, I want to give a warning to our viewers. You cannot fist fight COVID-19. It's a disease. It doesn't work that way. It's science, not fisticuffs. The first film on our list is one that we thought would be useful to help people cheer up in these times. It's a little sad out there, especially with these diseases out there trying to punch people. I don't know why they're doing that. They need to stop that, okay? The first film to cheer you up is Wolf Cop. It's about a hard drinking, womanizing failure of a small town cop who gets himself in some trouble with a local cult and ends up, anyway, he ends up being this werewolf and also a cop. And there's this car that he like, it's his own wolf cop car, right? Yes, he has a wolf cop mobile. It is like welded together and has lights coming from underneath. There's like a whole sequence where he builds it. You know, I actually read somewhere that the actor who played Wolf Cop, Leo Fafard, built the wolf car himself. Did you see the photo on the internet? I don't think it's in the movie anywhere, but it's like the Burt Reynolds pose, but with the wolf cop makeup. The great thing about Wolf Cop is it's over the top sex scene. It's with this woman who seriously looks like the porn version of whatever character she's supposed to be. And she's dressed as Little Red Riding Hood and they're definitely getting it on in like 80s close-ups in a jail cell. Okay. What big teeth you have. Hmm. That's not all. I personally love the Wolf Cop rap. There's a new cop in the streets, half man, half wolf, pure beast. And would love to have that on vinyl if it exists. Get at it, waxwork. Plus, you know, you were drunk, so I knew it was you. Hello? Hello. Wolf Cop is a movie to watch if you just want to party. You can unbutton your flannel shirt and mess your hair up. Call it rough hair. Get out of here. I really want you. Oh. Poor kitty. Let's go in the bloopers. I guarantee you she shook the camera. 